once you start working on a project, eventually you will want to save it. Now let's look at the different ways of saving a project and the different types of saved files that we have. First of all, let me mention that Logic Pro auto saves your work and even though the app might crash or quit unexpectedly, your project will still be saved. So if that happens, you will get a dialog box when you reopen your, op your project that asks you if you want to use the auto-saved version of Logic. If you don't choose that, then Logic will open the last manually saved version. Anything you add in the current uh, project can be saved and be part of the project every time you open it. There is of course the option of importing files to your project and not saving them. A good example of that is when you work with a video and you might not want to save it within the current project and you might want to save it on a different hard drive than the one of the project and reference it each time you work on it. So that goes for anything you create in the project. So let's say you want to include the, you do not want to include the alchemy data, for example. Now, this is a new project that I haven't saved yet. Let's look at the option through the menu and not through the shortcuts, just for starters. And let's go to save. So this window pops up. Let's go to desktop. You can browse where you're going to save it. Up here on save as, you can just change the name. I'm going to name it packets. And let's go down to assets first. Here you choose which files will be saved with the project. I suggest that audio files is always on. Uh, if, if, you, if this is not checked, then the audio files you have imported will not be in the project the next time you open it. Sampler, data, uh, Sampler audio data will include the audio files that you have imported to Logic Sampler. Now I have worked on a bit for about two hours while habitually pressing save, but I didn't have this one checked and I have lost all of my progress. So learn from my mistake and make sure this one's on whenever you're working on anything sample related. Alchemy and Ultrabeat are Logic's stock synthesizers. Space Designer is Logic's convolution reverb. More on these at another video. But you can also import files to all three. So if you do that, make sure you check these options so that they are included in the project. Uh, movie file should be checked if you have imported a video. And the last option is to include Apple Loops in the saved project. Now let's finally go to organize my project as. So we get two options. Packets will save your pro project as one package. When you try to access it, it will only be just one file that will contain all of the selected assets down here. Folder will save your project in a folder that contains subfolders for each of the selected assets down here and as well as a folder for your recordings or any bounced files. Now let's try both and see what they look like. So let's go with uh, packets first and then click on save. Now I'm sure you already know this from every other software that you have used. When you want to save the current project with a different name or at a different location, you go to save us. Now let's start using the shortcuts again. The save shortcut is Command and S, Sierra, and the save as shortcut is Shift, Command and S. So let's try that. Shift, Command and S. This window will pop up again, but this time let's go with folder and select folder. I'm going to leave all of the assets on and then press save. Now let's go to the desktop and have a look at the different types of saved files. Let's start with the folder. As you can see, the folder is a standard folder and if I open it, it contains the project file named folder and this is what you click to open the project and then subfolders for all the assets I have created. And if we were to record something, it will create more folders for those files. Let's go to Packets now. As you can see, it's just one file. If I double click on that, it will open my project. Everything is contained here. 
If you want to access the files or see what folders are in this file, you can right click on it and go to Show Packets Contents. Now this will allow you to look at the contents as if it was a folder type. Now let's go back to Logic. We also need to take a look into managing our assets. When you save a project, or even when you create one, you can choose where the assets will be saved. Remember, by assets I mean audio files, video, samples, etc. It can be either on your internal hard drive or at an external hard drive. You can have your project saved at your internal hard drive and then save the assets at another location and then reference that location so that Logic can find them and load them in the project. Now, the way to manage the assets and determine which will be saved in the project and which will be reference, referenced to an external location is by going to File, then Project Settings, and then Assets. Now, if you select any of the copy, uh, check, if you select any of the copy checkboxes, then the respective types will be saved in the project. If you select Convert Audio File Sample Rate when importing, that will automatically convert the sample rate of all the important files to match the sample rate of the project. Now, as soon as I'm done here, we can move or copy the project without losing any references to files in the project. The very last option is the save a copy as and it doesn't have it doesn't have a shortcut. Now here's the difference with the save as. The save as option will create a new save of the project and you will be working with that new saved project, not the original you worked with. The save a copy as will create a new save of the project, but you will be working on the original project, not the one you just saved with the save copy as option. That's a very good option if you want to have various backups of the project for the various stages of the project.